Hi, welcome to New Magnetism Applications video number two. Uh, this video we're going to discuss uh, the safety of neodymium magnets. I know you're going to follow along. I really don't want anybody to follow along, but I know people are going to try to do it, so don't do it at home. But if you're going to do it, let me at least give you some safety on the magnets that we're going to be using in some upcoming experiments where we apply new electromagnetism. Uh, what we have here are neodymium magnets as you get them. You basically get uh, these are these are one by three inch neodymium magnets. Uh, they're, they come bubble wrapped and they got spacers between them. And let me show you before we do anything what you got to do. First of all, put on some gloves. Uh, I'm using surgical gloves, any kind of glove, basically for two reasons. Number one, is it'll prevent your finger oils from tarnishing the magnets. I don't know if that's important to you. But number two, it'll help prevent magnet bite. And magnet bite has two factors. One is blunt trauma. Uh, if you let these magnets come together, they're going to come together with incredible force and they will pinch skin. I have some blood blisters to prove it. Uh, what the surgical gloves do is give an extra layer of skin so that the magnets will pinch that as opposed to you. Okay. Second of all, when you take the magnets apart, don't try to be a strong man because these things are powerful. Unless you're built like a football player or whatnot, don't try taking these apart all by themselves. I tried that the first one, not really knowing how powerful they were. Uh, I just tried to pull one off the top and it won and it got stuck to its brother with such incredible force. Uh, it took my entire body weight to shear it against this edge of the kitchen cabinet here to get it apart. And this led to an interesting discovery, a happy discovery. So all the blood blisters and all that aside, this actually worked out to have an interesting, and we're going to get to another video where we're going to, when we discuss the magnet table, uh, which is going to be the next video, which will allow us to quantify these magnets in terms of amperage, and I'll show you what that discovery was. But right now, the way to take these magnets apart, okay, is to get yourself a nice table edge and you got to get your whole body into this. You got to isolate one of uh, one of them, and you want to slide it against with the spacer. Now, here's the important part: as you're pushing it along, okay, you got to get your body in the way, because when that magnet comes off, it's going to come. It's going to come back at you, and you don't want it to come back at the pile of magnets. And you got to hold it. To make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And then you get the rest of the other magnets way out of the way. Okay. Keep it together. And then what you do is find a place to store them. I'm using my refrigerator here. And use the space. Oh, I just got pinched. Luckily the, the glove took it. Now if you got if you got kids at home, don't leave these around like this. Okay, the little hands. They try playing with these magnets, sliding them on the refrigerator, and these two mag and a couple of magnets try to come together. They're going to suffer a magnet bite, um, which you know could leave them bruised or even crushed little fingers. So, luckily, I don't have kids. I just have a nosy cat. He doesn't really care about magnets, and these will be transferred to another place. So, uh, because you're only going to get three spacers with a magnet set of four, cut yourself an end of a two by four that's ten millimeters wide. Uh, that would be about seven sixteenths of an inch. Uh, and use that as your final spacer. So when you put it on the fridge, you don't want it to put it directly on the fridge or the metal surface you're storing it on because uh, it'll be very difficult to get off and it will mar either the fridge or the magnet surface. Another note about magnet safety. I found that if you store your magnets with the same pole up on your surface, they'll be in repulsion from each other and that's a safe way to store your magnets. What I do is I mark the magnets with the current and amps and a couple of arrows which explain the direction of the current rotation on the outside. Um, the, reason why the, uh, the reason why the magnets on the bottom here have tape is because every time I open and close the refrigerator door the vibration would cause them to slide down. And they're under force from the magnets above plus gravity and so if I stop the bottom ones from sliding down they'll help keep the upper ones up just because of repulsion. Anyway, that's the video on magnet safety. Uh, these are some of the magnets we're going to be using in the upcoming experiments on new electromagnetism application series. 
Uh, thank you very much.